good afternoon, welcome to the channel. So today I've got the Sib out for its first proper trip. So we've had it out for about half an hour to an hour so far, but today's a proper one. But it's a bit rough out here, so we're going to put it through its paces really. Um, so yeah, we're in Stokes Bay, you might recognise the lifeboat station behind me. I used to fish down here quite a lot with a kayak, but I haven't been here for quite a while, so it'd be good to see what fish it turns up really. Um, but so, probably see down there, Pete's down on the slipway ready to pack up, or sorry, pack the boat up. Um, there's going to be two of us today, and we're going to have four rods out hopefully, if one all goes well out there, um, with a mixture of squid and mackerel and black lug. So there's a hope for a cod out here, but they're quite, quite rare. But anyway, I'm going to get the boat in the water, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Right guys, so we've got out about a mile out now from the lifeboat station. We're in 25 metres of water. Um, it's choppy though, as you can probably see, but it's fine. Super handled it really well. We've got a little bit wet today, but um, no, it's all good. So we've got four rods in the water. I've got squid and black lug on, and a free hook flap of squid. And what you got, Pete? Mackerel, is it? Uh, mackerel and a squid and mackerel wrap. So yeah, four different rods, four different baits. So we're going to catch something. We've got the right baits out, I reckon. We've got the South Coast Dangler behind us, not sure if you can see him. He's just led out there. But all the kayakers are out here, which is pretty cool. I mean, I wouldn't really want to be out here in a kayak, so fair play to them. Yeah, catching a bit with some fish. Right, guys, got our first fish. I'm trying to do it so we don't get hooks everywhere, though. Free hook flap is not a good idea, on it? Got our first white in of the day, probably one of many. Probably oh, only small one as well. Little tiddler, really. Getting back, and Pete's just pulling in a dogfish. Dogfish, yeah. You three dogfish. Yep. <laughs> you haven't fished a silent unless you caught a dogfish, have you? So the problem is, guys, it's so choppy out here. You just don't know if you've got a bite on, really, because the rods are going. So we just really pulled in um, rods just to see what we had on them, really. But Pete, we're gonna keep on with a free hook flapper, um, unless I get played with whiten. But we've only had one, so see you back. Here you go, guys. You've got a dogfish here. Pete's just pulled out. He's not even hooked. Look, he's not got hooked. one hooked here, and yeah, he's just, just literally like biting onto the mackerel head. Nice. And um, we've got South Coast Dangler over there. You won't probably won't be able to see him. He's just over here, but he's got just got a form back ray. So fish are being caught, which is quite nice. I feel like it's getting calmer as well, don't you? Yeah. It's getting calmer as well. So we might actually have, be able to have a little fly around on it soon. A nice one, still on that cod though. Don't have to pull this bait up, you know. That's what we got. It's quite a big doggy, isn't it? I'm pulling a bit. Oh, he's got a hook hanging out of his lamp, so we should probably get it okay. There you go, guys, another dogfish. It's definitely that time of year. Oh, he's going. Quite a few of these now, quite a good size today. Let's get him back in. Oh, I've got a... It's quite hard, not... Double shot over here. I thought that was a bass. Guys, double shot of white in here. This is a chunk, this one. Let's get them off, eh? I'll hold it up there. There you go, guys. I'll tell you what, he's not massively long, but that's an absolutely chunky white in. Not a bad size. But yeah, I thought I had a, something different on there, but here do for now. Let's 
to get back. Here you go, we're catching all the dogfish today. Look, there's another one Pete's got. The thing is, you really can't tell if there's anything on the end of our lines. So, pretty much every time we pull the lines up, it's got fish on it. I'm sure we catch a lot more fish if we keep pulling the lines up quicker. But So, we've been fishing for probably a couple of hours now. We've had countless dogfish, a couple of whiting. Dan's had a form back just over there, so it's not bad, really. I think what well, we've probably come to low tide now, haven't we? Yeah, coming up to low tide as well. We'd normally fish the tide all the way up, but uh, there won't be enough hours in the day today because I want to get back before it's dark. But yeah, we'll stick it out for another couple of hours and hopefully get something a little bit different. But it's starting to get a lot calmer now, so it's a bit more pleasant. It's free fish. <laughs> this is going to be quite tricky. Yeah, yeah, cool. We'll put that there. It might be worth. Do you think it's worth netting? Hey. Right. Okay. He's Oh no. There we go, got him. Oh, oh yeah, okay. So I wanted to dry, wash my dry seat properly today. Hang on. Yeah. Don't know this. Yeah. There you go, guys. Quite a nice sized conga. <laughs> Is. <laughs> So that's it, a triple shot there. We had two whiting, one pretty big whiting, and this conga as well. We had some fight in it actually, but not bad. Probably only four or five pound, but good fighting fish. Should get him in, Pete. Right. This is a bit of a mess. So I just seeing what what caught what. See this? Yeah. He was a live bait, he'd done nothing. Tiny little white in, he was live baited, but he's done nothing, he's still alive, so he can go back. And then fish number three. So I'm gonna have to get my tea bar. Didn't do so well there. Seconds, Pete. Maybe we'll go. Okay. Another decent sized white in. Big snap. Don't normally catch them this big out here, do we? No, no, that's uh, good, good size. Stunt. But a nice one. F triple shot. <laughs> Pete's onto another fish here. Must be having a run through. What do you reckon, Pete? Is it a conga? A ray, maybe? Get this one out of the way, just in case. Oh! Just a, just a heavy dogfish. Is it your bait? Oh, my bait. Right, <laughs> put camera down. Gonna have to sort this out. Fred? Guys, got a bigger fish on here. Probably a conga, I'd say. Again. Same thing again, though. I'll tell you what, it's bigger than the last one, if it is. Rod bending action here. Gotta be careful, it's on a free hook flapper again that it bends the hooks out. So any size one hooks.
he's un unwrapped itself. Oh, you're joking. Oh, mate, we just literally lifted her out of the water to grab him and he's off. I'll tell you what, though, that's the biggest ray I've nearly caught. I think we only got it in so far. Yeah, I think we only got it so far. Found foul hooks. Oh, it's hooked in the mouth, but it's wrapped yeah, round. Yeah, it's wrapped yeah. round. Yeah, sorry, not foul hooks. It was um, putting it in sideways. So yeah, slightly go. We didn't get it on board, guys. That would have been my PB power, my PB ray on the same uh, rig there. But we literally had it to the side of the boat. I had my hand on it, pulled it up, and it just slipped out and um, unhooked itself. Unfortunately. But never mind. Um, Flick straight back out. That's just on a strip of squid on a free hook flat. So, yeah, we'll keep plugging away. Hopefully we'll get it next time. Another fish on here, guys. Not quite as big as the last one. Oh, two fish on here, guys. There's a dogfish, of course, it's a really light spots on it. Right, hang on, let me. It's been a little while, oh, it's a rubber line. It is, yeah, of course it is. Ah, uh, two more. would be a good thing or not. Just gonna let go for it for a second. Sort this power. No, this is a lot smaller than the last pout. Okay guys, there's a pout. Quite a decent size, but a lot smaller than the last one we had. Right. We're all tangled up with lines here, we need to sort this out before I get the other fish off. There you go guys, it's been a couple of hours since we've had a dogfish, but there's dogfish number probably Six or seven, maybe? Don't know. Can't remember. I've got quite a big tangle to sort out. The free hook flap and the squid certainly doing the business today. So right guys, that's the end of the session. I'm having to voice over the end because the GoPro just gave up. So we've missed a few fish, but they're only dogfish and whiting. Yeah, so yeah, today was all about getting a sib out for its first sort of proper, proper session with all the gear on board and Obviously we had Pete there and the alley deck as well. Um, and just to see what it's like with two people, um, see if there's enough room and you know, you see if it's fishable with sort of four rods. And to be honest, yeah, it was absolutely fine. There's a lot more room, room than I thought there would be. Um, the only thing maybe is probably drop down the amount of lines in the water when the tide starts running free. Because we did have three or four tangles, which Pete very kindly sorted out. Um, but then the Solent, it does run through quite hard there. But I will be adding more rod holders as well. So when, when I'm landing a fish, I've just got a choice of being able to pick up my rods and moving them around to make up space. But yeah, otherwise it's absolutely fine. Um, a lot more weight on board today. So we had obviously an extra passenger. The alley deck's a lot heavier than the air deck. Um, you know, extra fishing gear. Um, but as you see now, we're flying across the water at a steady 20 knots. So I was quite, quite pleased with that, to be honest. And it certainly goes a lot quicker when I'm on my own. So the only thing I need to look at is trimming the engine for when there's two of us, because I don't know if you remember the start of the video, Pete was getting quite wet at the front. So I just think I need to just get the nose up out of the water a little bit. Um, it's set up perfectly now for solo runs, so the nose goes up in the air, but as soon as I hit the plane, it drops down perfectly. So I just need to have a, probably a separate kind of setting on the trim, just when I've got a passenger. But you know, it's all a learning process. Um, fishing wise is a good session actually a lot better than I thought it would be sort of this time of year I mean this is what the first week of January but no it was good um, obviously Gerd would didn't get the ray on board and that's completely my fault I mean I've, I actually I've bought a landing net for the sib and I just left it in the car um, stupid really and dragging the ray in it was all tangled up in the line 
So it was hooked in the mouth, but the line was all wrapped around its tail. So, it, you know, I, I thought it'd be absolutely fine. I was trying to pick it up out of the water, try and untangle it before I got it on board, especially where it's a form back on the sib. Um, and it just picked that moment to come untangled. So, yeah, my fault. Um, but it's still good to be catching them. And obviously, um, South Coast Angler and the sib next to us, he, he landed too um, perfectly. So, good mixed bag of fish, really. Um, but, yeah, that's about it, guys, really. You can see I'm just giving a sib a little thrash around now before heading back um, but good session you'll see a lot more sib videos obviously um, so I'll have I'll have a passenger with me probably 50% of the time so there'll be plenty of solo trips plenty of trips two of us and when there's two of us that's when I'll be putting the alley deck in and probably pushing it a bit further out to sea so yeah plenty of sort of mixed sessions coming up and I've still got the kayak and still got all the beach gear so um, thanks for watching guys I always forget to say it, but if you like the content you're seeing, please like and subscribe. It makes a huge difference. Um, and sort of that feedback is what keeps me making videos. So, awesome guys. Well, thank you for watching. Apologies for the wind noise at, towards the end of the video. My microphone giving up as well. Um, we sort out better quality of video as, as I go, really. It's, I'm just learning about those different camera angles on the SIB, really. But, yeah, other than that, it should be good to go. Cool. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.